What's up, Dragon Slayers, and welcome to the next episode of Star Ocean Integrity and Faithlessness. Let's play. We are going to, uh, well, we're going to go to the private quarters, because I imagine that's going to be where our next uh, quote-unquote cutscene is going to take place. But last episode, we just decided that, hey, we need to go, we need to go face General Ama. So, you know. You will be unable to return to Fade Creed. Please make necessary preparations first. Yes, I'm willing to proceed in spite of that because I'll be able to re go back to Fade Creed eventually anyway, so it's all fine. They always have a post game. Didn't want to interfere or anything like that. Nah, you never run interference. Like I said, it always gives me something to talk about. Oh, of course everyone leaves the party because this is just, just a darn common theme. Is that everyone just leaves the party. I know they're all on the bridge, though. So, I mean... That ominous message pretty much guarantees that we're heading into the rest of the game. What? It's... Where's everyone? Transport room? Maybe? Yeah, pretty much guarantees that we are... Oh yeah, transport room. Pretty much states that we are going to end up doing the final battle soon. What are you doing here at this hour? What about you, Fidel? I just couldn't get to sleep. <sighs> Me neither. You know what? We've come so far on this journey. Yeah. Beyond the sky is pretty far, to say the least. It's not just the physical distance. We've experienced so many things that no normal Rasulians have. Things we didn't even know were possible. And we've learned even more. That's true. I swear, those days we spent hanging out with Ted and Stahl, they seem like they ended many eons ago. From here, they do seem distant. Recently, Fidel, I feel like you've been distant too. I don't think I have. Yes, you have. Some of it's out of your control, like what's happened with the war and with Feria. But you've set your sights on somewhere far away. I'm sorry. Apologize. That makes me sound like the villain here. Then what do I do? Stay by my side. For all eternity. I'll never ever forgive you if you try to leave me behind. All right. Tomorrow, I'm gonna do my absolute best to save Faria, so you won't mind if I say at least one selfish thing, will you? Please, Fidel. Stay by me. Open to finish tonight? Uh, I hope so. If not, I mean, we might be able to finish tomorrow as well. But it is, you know, it's starting to feel like the end of the game. Uh, first appearance on my channel. I mean, you've already commented on a couple videos, so. Like a couple Overwatch videos. So I guess technically you've been on my channel before. But yeah, I'm going to do Fallout 4 afterwards. That's not enough. Your pathetic policies cannot save Kronos. Why can't you see that you're dooming our people to be Federation slaves? Starting a civil war serves only to deplete our national resources. Have you no backbone? A craven fool like you has no right to rule us. There's nothing more here to discuss. All that's left is for us to crush the Federation and Kronos' lapdog government. I'm sorry I couldn't do better, Captain Kenny. If we haven't convinced him by now, I doubt we ever will, Mr. President. The only option we have left is to engage them. Indeed. I knew it would come to this. In that case, sir, could you please order your ship to retreat to a safe distance? I'm confident we can handle the fighting ourselves. Thank you. And best of luck. Captain, three of the enemy ships look to be going on the offensive. Got it. All right, people. Time to get this operation underway. In the name of galactic peace, we are going to head into battle against the rebel Kronos forces led by General Alma. Fidel, your group will do what it needs to help the sisters. Understood. Okay, now open an audio link between our ships and the Kronos governmental forces. Audio link is now established. 
This is Emerson T. Kenny, captain of the Pan Galactic Federation ship Charles D. Gold. My vessel will serve as the Kronos Governmental Forces flagship, as directed by the Federation's Central Command and Kronos's President Mutal. It's up to every last one of us to ensure Kronos remains at peace rather than plunges into chaos. So let's go out there and give them hell. Kenny, over and out. Time to get this operation underway. Uh, yes, the game has been good. You can always follow it. I post uh, every Friday at 5 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. It, like I said, I am trying to get more active viewers for this series. Of course, it is like, I don't know. Star Ocean's not really a popular game, so it is hard to get plenty of viewers for this. Oh, man, what happened? Set a course. 90 mark 135. What's the damage for both sides? Our shields deflected the entirety of their attack. No damage to report. One governmental warship has been destroyed. Another has taken heavy damage. Two more, enough to render them inoperable. Only one rebel ship has sustained heavy damage. Should we pull back and rethink our strategy? As a soldier, you should know that giving the enemy more time here would be fatal. We can't withdraw now. Maybe so, but continuing to fight would only increase our losses. Uh, excuse me, Captain. If I may... I know that, but it doesn't matter. We'll have to go right for General Alma then. Ferry is the only thing fueling their resistance. Therefore, if we defeat Alma and get her back, we'll lose their reason to fight. That's easier said than done. Alma's most likely barking orders from the safety of their base, situated on that large asteroid. The shield around it will make an approach impossible. Actually, it just might be feasible. While we were traveling to this sector, I was able to analyze a portion of the data on space-time symbology we accumulated. I theorize that if Relia were to use her power, we could manipulate space-time in such a way that it neutralizes their shield. With practice, it could likely even disable the whole thing. Her current skills, however, should suffice. We can likely still negate a large enough portion of the shield to pass through. In short, going after Alma directly is well within the realm of possibility. But... I don't know if I can control my powers well enough. I'll offer what support I can by analyzing her psi waves. Come on, Relia. Let's go save Faria together. If I can save my sister, I'll try hard to get it right. Emerson, please get us ready to infiltrate their base. Can do. Let's go. I'm gonna assume we just go straight to the transport room. Delacroix, prepare to transport us to the coordinates we got from President Mutal. Sir, you have a fleet to command. You can't just go running Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Sorry, Delacroix. If General Alma calls. Don't worry. You'll do a great job in my stead, First Officer. Games like this may, must be all the talking slash reading. Yeah, sorry. I mean, like, there, there's going to be a couple battle. Well, there's going to be a lot of battles, actually, really Transport. soon. Like I said, we're heading into the end game, so. Just think. If you could succeed at manipulating space-time, completely nullify shields, you'd be invincible. I assume that is exactly why Kronos was researching the ultimate script in the first place. For them to engrave something so terrifying on a small girl. The technology probably won't work unless they use a living being. Thank God it was Fidel. What about him? It's good that he was the one really opened up to out of everybody. <sighs> Agreed. All right, let's go. Let's go beat the big bad final boss. Who's probably gonna one-shot us. I don't doubt he's gonna one-shot us, actually. Yeah, I mean, RPGs just typically have a lot of cutscenes and story built within those cutscenes, so it, it just naturally happens. Let's heal just in case. All right, here we go. To the final battle. To start, we'll neutralize the shields. I'm ready when you are. Incredible. 
How'd it go? Think it'll work? Not right now. Something seems to be disrupting Relia's field. My sister, she... It would appear that Faria is currently emitting a field of her own. What if we use a shuttle to get closer while Relia has her force field up? Do you think that would help her neutralize Faria's field? According to the scanner, the field's effects deteriorate quadratically with distance. Thus, the closer Relia is to her target, the more likely she can cancel it out. Still, though, exposing a weaponless shuttle to the enemy's phase cannons is too dangerous. It may be dangerous, but there's no other way. I know I can do it. I'm okay. It looks like the bravest member of our team is also the smallest. Indeed. The shuttle's in the cargo bay. Let's hurry. Kenny, to the bridge. The bridge here. Need a favor. As long as it isn't anything absurd. We're gonna use a shuttle and fly right into the enemy's home base. Absolutely out of the question. It's too dangerous. Too bad for you, but we're gonna do it. I request that next time you take me instead of Lieutenant Trisiani. Also, if I may speak freely, sir, I'm quite shocked that I don't get to accompany you to the grand finale. I'm sorry. It's all right. In the meantime, I'll keep the chronos stuff. Oh, okay. Cuts in, cuts off immediately as soon as we get into here. Oh, whoops, there was a little bit more to that cutscene. Hopefully you guys read fast. Alright, well let's go take a shuttle. Let's go beat the big bad guy. I'll be in charge of the helm. to the captain what I've uploaded a projected route to your shuttle please take a look at it how thoughtful you prepared to start Relia you'll have to keep your signaturgy activated the whole time but can you do that I can good girl you're not alone we'll get through this together yep I'll open the doors for you thanks we're ready for takeoff. All right, here we go. Our field's about to come in contact with Farias. First, concentrate solely on this one finger. Okay. Now, sync your breathing with mine. Wrong. There's a hole in the shade of the furthest rock back on the right. He's right. By all accounts, the thing looks to be a man-made structure. You have a good pair of eyes on you, Victor. The King's Chosen often operate at night. Is this a setup? Let's take the plunge. Well, we took the plunge. All right, General Alma, we're coming for you. Alcazar of the Golden Age. I must give you credit. It takes talent to break through that space-time symbol barrier we erected. I'm glad I decided to welcome you with open doors. It was worth the wait. Your generosity is truly boundless. And now give back Faria! <laughs> Ah, so the wealth decided to show up after all. How interesting that he didn't turn tail and run. Now we'll see who the true master of space-time symbology is. Fine with me. My cause is just and my victories assured. History's proof of that. Enjoy your downfall. Let's go. Fairy is waiting. General Alma, you talk too much. 
Ah, uh, nice. Uh, yeah, well, I mean... <laughs> we've learned... Oh wait, I don't need the Mirthal Rod. I just bought it for no reason. We've, we've learned one thing about this game, and it's if you just are taking too much damage, you must need better items, or better equipment, I should say. And indeed, sneaky rocks. I might actually cut this episode short, just cause, um... Is there anything? Nah, that's nothing new. I think we're maxed out on all this. Yeah, we are. Okay, thanks for your provisions. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna cut this episode short because we're definitely gonna finish it in the next episode. So if you enjoyed all the cutscenes, <laughs> or if you just wanna see, you know, the final battle play out, feel free to like the video and subscribe. We will definitely get to doing so. Sorry, that, like no battle happened in this episode, but I mean, there's gonna be lots of battling this next episode. So thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys later and goodbye. All right, set of crim, final battle. I knew it was filmed like very final battle. Like it just really felt like it, honestly. You know, especially when they said, oh, you can't go back to Fae Creed after you rest. I'm like, okay, sure. Yeah, totally final battle. Because they always say, oh, you can't go back. Same thing it does for, say more defense, less speed. True. All right, we're gonna get started. What's up, Dragon Slayers, and welcome to what is likely the final episode of the Star Ocean Integrity and Faithlessness Let's Play. Uh, is it the final episode? Oh yeah, that's like, okay. It's pretty simple. This is likely the final episode. Oh my gosh, they still do a lot of damage even with our upgraded armor. Duly noted, everything still hurts. But I mean, we are in the final area and that's pretty typical for the final story game area to like just hurt and be tanky. I can't even imagine what would, what this would be like if we hadn't purchased the upgraded weapon. We likely would have uh, not been sitting in a nice spot. There we go. Alright, well, hey. Oh, that reminds me, actually, this should be a role that I learned either last episode or two episodes ago, something like that. Ah, oh, shock therapist. I don't want miser. Should be stun. No, not stun supporter. Okay, well, whatever. I'm not ready to retire yet. Anyway, regardless, we are going to finish this punch of health and what not in some games before the big boss dead giveaway that's true ah uh, we found two meteorites perfect well anyway we are going to enjoy this and have some fun i mean this is likely actually going to be the final episode and oh look at that there's just you know some destroyers or whatever they're called avengers oh my okay so you guys basically one shot me mickey hurry up and heal me Oh wow, they actually killed Victor. I can, I trust that one of the symbologists will get, yeah, I was gonna say, I'll trust that one of the symbologists is actually gonna revive him. So these Avengers purge easily, like a ton. Oh my gosh. Okay, good. Okay, well, I mean, a little sad it's the end, I always get upset. Um, not really, I mean, there's like plenty of like post-game stuff I could technically do if I wanted to. Which I actually might end up doing just cause, you know, post-game stuff is fun. <laughs> Come with me in the air, Mr. Commander. I'm gonna just keep spamming. Hey, 
everything hurts. Like, a lot. Like, 4,000 damage, just take an arm and, like... I mean, there is a certain always, like... There's a certain being sad at a point, but... I'm actually kind of excited just because it means that... <laughs> the game that I didn't I, like initially, I came back to and finished, so... That makes me excited. Yeah, I, I really didn't like this game. I played other Star Oceans and I was like, this is just not at the same level. Well, that's a new skill. So, Fist of Fury. Or Avian Rage. We're gonna go Avian Rage because, uh, yeah. Let me just make sure there's like not all oh, resurrection. That's totally new. I'll stay till it dies. What? Watch this video on YouTube. Oh, I mean, I don't know when this one's gonna go up. I have a a lot to do, I guess. But oh well. Oh wait, I should set that battle skill. I want to... I want to change it from Seraphic Thunder, I think, to Avian Rage. Alright, well thanks for staying until it dies. D did you not bring your charger, I'm guessing? I hope you brought your charger, because then you can just stay and finish watching this. Oh, final battles, how they are going to be so fun. It's better not like be this quick to the final battle, by the way. I will actually be a little bit upset if the dungeon is that short. Okay, good. I was gonna say, if the dungeon's that short, we got an issue. Uh, Alright, Avengers. Can you hurry and use like Resurrection or Raise Dead or- oh god. I guess I'm gonna have to use some Fresh Sage. Cause I just let- there's like literally no way that I'm gonna win this if Mickey is down. Okay, yeah, she went for very easy. Victor's mad. I trust that either- Oh, uh, no one. Oh, no, someone did. Just as I someone did. Raise really right at the end. Working and watching, multitasking like a pro. Gotcha. Fair enough. I forget, what is your nighttime job? Arcana Sword. Let me guess, that's actually better than what I just bought. Yeah, of course it is. Whoa, that is so much better. Hello. At least they're going to give you, like, game-breaking weapons. <laughs> well, storyline game-breaking weapons. I mean, obviously, they just always have their own. I don't know what this room's for. This room's for nothing. You'll tell me about it. Oh, that's true. I'll let you know when it's up. Oh, my gosh. Hi. Consequently, Cytocrim, you and Dan could join my Discord and uh, always be notified of my uploads. Although, I don't know if Dan would like to actually ever watch my stuff. Oh, hospital. Okay. Well, that's fair enough. Yeah, then obviously you can't just sit here all the time. Okay, that's a level up. Hopefully I can be of assistance now. Yeah, there's a chest here, okay. Man, that Arcana sword is like a huge, like, boost. Like a serious boost. <laughs> and I'm sure Valiant Mail is so much better too. Let's take a look. Yeah, I mean, of course it is. The music. 
I actually have the TV turned down low, so I can't actually necessarily hear all about the music. I really actually hear a lot of this, <laughs> the music when I end up replaying. I want to go this way. I know, I know I should be finish this, finishing this as soon as possible, but... I got time. Oh, I mean, especially like when this is the enemies. There we go. I'm trying to save my reserve rushes because I know I'm gonna need them later on. Oh my gosh, Dark Devour. Hi. Do all that damage. Yeah, I mean, we're doing like 3,000 plus, so. Still sitting fine. And we're getting quantum processors, which we need for a mission, so. A Chrono Scholar. What are you, what are you scalling? Seriously, Dark Devour plus Flying Gilead is a little, a little rude. Okay, good job, Victor. Shadow Needles Plus. Who's in here? You are just so rude, dude. Okay, hi. That was a lot of damage. And I, I play a lot of the games that he wants to play. Seriously? How so? Like, what games do I play? He doesn't want to play Star Ocean, does he? Solar Signets Volume 4. Oh boy. So, Explosion. Which is not a bad spell. Signaturge. Whatever. Or Thunder Flare. Create a cage of lightning that around your target that temporarily lowers the attack of enemies it surrounds. I mean I want to I want to take explosion, but the kinda issue is yeah, I mean, I'll go Thunder Flare, because Fiori's kind of more of my offensive option, and right now, Mickey's going to be doing too much healing to really make use of Explosion, unfortunately. I hate having to make decisions like that, but it happens. This is why I miss, like, the other Star Ocean games where you just level up and get abilities. That is, like, better, for me anyway, because I don't have to make decisions like that. Oh wait, there's something over here too. Which I'm sure is gonna be Fidel and Victor's air raid. Yeah, I mean air raid seems nice. But Dragon Roar. Oh, the Final Fantasy stuff. I mean, just tell him to... Just tell him to follow. Or uh, just tell him to follow it. I understand not liking spoilers, though. I get it. I'm that way on some games as well. So it makes sense to me. Why? Okay, well, it's only two of them, so... It's like, they have no other allies. Not that it matters, like, if they one-shot people. Okay, well. Please? Someone revive Victor? Okay, good. Okay, did someone revive Victor? There's a level up for Fiore. That's enough enemies that I should probably heal. 
But he could be my biggest World of Final Fantasy viewer. You can count on me. Does he actually like smite? Oh, that's good. I need more smite viewers as it is. And he can watch me bad at, bad at Call of Duty as well. I mean, like, it's awesome being bad at games like that because so many people try and be like, so many people just try and be like, oh, I'm a professional. I'm like, nah, I just play games, dude. <sighs> anyway, I imagine that probably third, third or fourth floor is going to be the floor where Alma's at. I can check actually really relatively quickly. Um, well, there's gonna be a mini boss of some sort. I guarantee that much. It takes so long to get up, it's almost kind of unfair. Yep, doesn't surprise me there's something here. Face Ignis volume. Oh, we'll see. I think it was actually smart that I didn't take it. Fairy Star. You guys have a lot in common. Well, you know. I mean, I've just always been kind of drawn to RPGs. Like, I like Call of Duty for, um, you know, just mindless fun, but... RPGs have just mostly been what I've been primarily drawn to. Uh, even as a kid, I mean, like, I played a lot of Pokemon. Never played Grand Theft Auto, a single game, so I should do that at some point, but, you know. Yeah, I mean, like, I played Pokemon, Kirby's Adventures, stuff like that. Just stuff that was fun. I mean, I think most people probably played a lot of Nintendo games when they were kids. I was gonna say, there's totally like some kind of boss here. Yeah, I mean that doesn't surprise me. So are we shut in? What do you want? I'm pleasantly surprised you made it this far. Such magnificent specimens. Yes, you'll be perfect for the new, more thorough experiments I've been designing. More experiments? People aren't playthings, you know. You say that. But without us, your Simba form there wouldn't exist. In truth, we deserve your gratitude, not your malice. Are you even capable of thinking of others? Please, don't get incensed over nothing. It'll adversely affect the results and ruin all my hard work. What the heck are you? This is our latest Oh yeah, just, you know, just take all my health, why don't you? Oh no. Come on, get some cured conditions. Get some cured conditions going. Mickey. Oh, okay, good. I was joking when I said take all my health. I'm gonna have to go with resurrection. Okay, this guy's annoying because like he paralyzes people. come for you. I'm on the way. Boom. Oh, please stop. Please just stop. Alright. Emerson, I need you to do stuff. There. Stand back and let the adults do their job. Yeah, 
Yeah, this game actually is really cool. This is kind of annoying. Can you just... I need... I now I need to run while I get healed. Okay. Oh my gosh. Stop doing like you have too much health. You do too much damage. should break this into another episode. I didn't expect there to be a save point so so quickly. So I guess, you know. Thanks for tuning in for this episode. The next one really will be the final episode. So if you want to follow for just one more one more episode, feel free to do so. As well as uh, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to like it. That'll help me out a lot. But that's going to do it for this. Oh my gosh, he really hurt like everyone. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and we will see you on the next episode. Goodbye.